Hey everyone, I'm Zach from Smart Geek Home, and today I'm going to introduce you to the Echo Show 8, all of its buttons, what they do, and why, unlike every other Echo device, it has no action button. There are four main buttons on the Echo Show. The first one that we're gonna look at is the mute button or the microphone on off button. Generally, when you give a command to your Echo, Echo, what time is it? It's 3.06 p.m. It will respond, cancel, assuming that it heard you. When you mute, you're gonna see a red bar appear here and then Echo, Echo, it won't be able to respond to you. So with the microphone off and then the red bar is gone because the microphone's back on, echo, cancel, it can hear you again. The next two buttons are volume down, volume up. Those do pretty much exactly what you'd expect. You can see the volume level down here. If we turn the volume down and then back up, you can also adjust that by sliding across here. Last, we have this slider right here. And what that's gonna do when you slide it to the right is it will close this privacy shield. You see camera off. And what that will mean is that your echo can't see you. The camera is physically hidden by the shield. That's great for privacy. If you have your echo show in an area where you don't necessarily want it to see everything, or you may just want to leave the camera off when you're not using it. If you're generally concerned about what your smart home devices have access to and what they don't. So let's side this back open and we'll see camera on. So you can always tell based on the signals here, the position of the toggle and whether or not the privacy screen is white or clear whether or not your camera is on. Now, one of the biggest questions I get about the Echo Show is, where's the action button? Every other Echo device has a button that does things like activate it without you having to say the wake word, uh, to, um, stop alarms, anything like that. The reason you don't see that is because the screen takes on all of those actions. So if I want to activate it, I can just slide down here for the menu. I can press things on the screen. And all of those will take on the actions the action button would do on every other Echo device. You also use the action on button to stop alarms. So let's say I had an alarm set. Echo, set a timer for one second. One second, starting now. When that goes off, I'll have the stop button right here instead of the action button. You also need the action button on other Echo devices for factory reset. Since there is no action button to factory reset your device, you're gonna swipe down on the screen, go to settings, and then you're going to look for device options. Scroll down until you see reset to factory default, and then just hit the reset button. So there's actually no need for a separate action button because of the screen. That's pretty much everything you need to know. You've got your mute or microphone on off button, your volume buttons, your slider, 
and the screen, which takes the place of, amongst other things, the action button. Don't forget to like the video, that way other people can find it. And be sure to subscribe so that you get all of the latest smart home tips and tricks.